What's up, guys? How you doing today? I'm here with a plastic surgeon. Let them know what your name is. Dr. Lauren. Dr. Lauren. And where, where are you from, Dr. Lauren? I'm from Haiti. Okay, where were you from in Haiti? I'm from Port-au-Prince. Port-au-Prince. And now you're living in the DR? Yeah, I'm living in the DR right now. Okay, and you're a plastic surgeon? Yeah, I'm a plastic, most certified plastic surgeon. Okay. What started you into this field? What, what made you go to medical school and pick to be a plastic surgeon? Say, out of all the fields you could have picked, what made you say, I want to be a plastic surgeon? Because uh, when I had 18 years old, uh -huh. I finished my college in Haiti. Okay. And we have uh, some problem, politics problem. Okay. And I decided to get out of my country to mm -hmm. do medicine, general medicine. Okay. When I finished my school medicine, uh -huh. I decided to be a surgeon. Okay. Then I, sp I, I spent uh, four years as a surgeon. Okay. When I'm finished, I'm graduate like a general surgeon. Mm -hmm. I did practice for eight years. Okay. And I was a good student when I was in the hospital. And so uh, Dominican have so much uh, plastic surgeon and a conductive surgeon. Okay. And even uh, we don't have a plastic surgeon in my country at this moment. At okay, the start. so there's no plastic surgeons in Haiti right now? Right now, we have one. One. But, uh, she's really whole. Okay. And we don't have so much as the Dominican has. Yeah. And I think, what's going on? If we have the high qualification and mm -hmm. They do it for why, why I suppose uh, to stay like this as a general surgeon. Only. Okay. Yeah. And I decided to go to Mexico. Okay. Then, then take an exam. Okay. Uh, to be the first black uh, plastic surgeon in this hospital. It's what, it was like an history for me. Oh, wow, you like, was the first black uh, um, yeah. plastic surgeon in Mex Mexico. In Mexico at what hospital? What hospital? Uh, Guadalajara. Okay, I know Guadalajara, Mexico. I, I got a cousin that lives there. He's Haitian. He lives there right now. Wow. Okay. And mm -hmm. we did uh, four years in Mexico. When I'm finished, and I decided to be back to the yard. Okay. I decided to be to the R because I think it was close to Haiti. Okay. And then it was better for me. Yeah. Because we still have political problems in my country. Okay. Know? Yeah, I understand. I know. I was there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now I'm staying here. I have a long time practice uh, mm -hmm. plastic surgery. Okay. We're just trying to do the best for every patient, you know. Okay. And that's all. But. I'm very proud right now that I can show all the world what we can do. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is not only problem. This is not negative uh, problem, but we have very, very. I'm, I think I'm not the one. We have a lot of patient uh, with high grade of formation of of, of uh, capacity. Okay. In the world, you know, everywhere, yes. every country. Yes, yeah. yes, that's true. That's true. That's true. Cause my dad is a biochemist. He just retired, but he's a biochemist. He was a biochemist in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, St. Christopher Hospital for children. That's great. Okay, and I was going to ask you, uh, what what makes you different from the other plastic surgeons that people should trust you to do their plastic surgeon work, the females and the guys? Look at, I think Haitians have some natural uh, uh, capacity to do arts. They okay. They very good. Okay. And I feel that sensation in my hands, you know. Okay, when you do the, the, the plastic surgery. Yeah. You're you real do. general in your, in your hands and your... The sculpture that the girl is doing. Naturally, Haitians do good, yeah. good arts, you know. And I think uh, it's more easy for me to make good definition, good sculpture for the... Okay. For, this is why we did that. Other things, mm -hmm. the humanity that we have, uh, that's mm -hmm. our patient, the hospitality that we have, you know, all of those things, when you come back, all of those things, okay. that have, that we can give better job for, for patients. Yeah, so you said Haitians are really good with their hands and detailed work, yep. and being a plastic surgeon, you have to be really detailed and minute yep. job. So you guys are good with your hands, so that's why you think that's why yeah you you make a good plastic surgeon, and that's why what makes you different maybe from other plastic surgeons because they might not be as skilled with their hands as well. Like you said, anything Haitians do 
far as like art or, or building or something. They're very good and they put their heart and their soul yes. into what they do. And then you take that same art form at, as a plastic surgeon when you're working on different patients and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, another question people will want to know is, uh, is, it, is it dangerous to get plastic surgery in the DR? Because, you know, people always hear a stigma about plastic surgery. What protocol do you go through to make sure that the patient is okay. able to take the surgery? I think uh, not only plastic surgery, since you decide to go to the operating room to do a surgery, it's dangerous. It's da it don't matter what it is. It, once you risk. operation is a, is a risk. Operation Automatically is a risk. Because the first risk would be the the anesthesia that you're gonna receive. Because it's like a drugs, you know. Yeah. You don't know how you're gonna react with the drugs. Yeah. Sometimes patient takes that is the idea about idea. We have patient die. United States, Canada, Canada France, Mexico, yeah. Mexico, everywhere that's different the reaction that we can have. Okay. And I know I have so many experienced patients that uh, we see that she did the surgery, she was very good and she, when she get out of the operating room, she can do heart attack, she can do yeah. trombo and everything. This yeah. not happen. Because it's a lot of, it, it happened everywhere. But let me tell you. That can happen everywhere, but that can happen more in a small country than big country, you know? Okay. Because uh, the protocol is more strict in big country than small country. country. I understand, But yeah. usually, it's not common. Things yeah. can happen, yeah. but it's not common. But it's not a common occasion. No, it's not a common thing, you know? Oh, okay. But things can happen. It can happen. And like you said, anytime you step under that knife, and you're going to operate. Anything can happen. Anything. So it doesn't. It just is not in the. Just not in the world. Not the surgery, of, just just plastic the surgery. surgery. No, no, no. It could be for anything. Anything. It's, you can go only to take out the nail, and they give you the anesthesia to remove the nail, and you can die with this anesthesia. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you on that. This is not common, but yeah, that's happen. but it happened. It's, it's anytime you said. Oh, uh, you answered that one. Well. When you go in, you accept to do the surgery. Mm -hmm. You just sign that you know, you recognize that things can that happen. That things can happen. That's a possibility that something could happen. Yep. More than likely it won't, but it's always that percentage that something could happen. Of course. Okay, and, and your prices. How, 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 do, how are your prices compared to the prices in the DR or worldwide? Because I know a lot of people from the States. I used to live in Miami. And a lot of females from Miami and Philadelphia used to come down here a lot to get and they said it was a lot cheaper down here to do it uh, than in the United States. A little, a little more cheaper, but I don't think they come in for cheaper. They come in because we give them curves. Okay. We they they're looking for beautiful butt or yeah. augmentation. Yeah. We give them beautiful butt and flat tummy. Okay. Beautiful uh, breast, okay. and they come in here for that, you know. But this is not only for the price they come. In. Okay. Normally, you know, the price specialize in, in the United States is more higher. Okay. Okay, twice the price yeah. is twice in the United States. You yeah, know? that's true. But uh, I don't think someone has supposed to come only for price. You're supposed to to come because your surgeon is about certified, is safe, you know. And you do good job, something like that. But it's okay. not only the price you're supposed to see the first thing to to decide for a surgeon. Okay. You think, uh, on the price, that's a big mistake. That's a mistake. They come here because you guys are good surgeons, and I, you guys I that. and you guys do good job good there. Job. I prefer that. Yeah, and you you have I guess you specialize probably more than the United States because they the United States is big, so they have a they have a lot of places, but it's a lot of protocol, and then it's a lot of people on the list mm -hmm. for you to get the surgery. Of course. So here, you probably have a more, more, quick. more quicker. Oh, yeah. There you have to wait a little longer and there's a lot more people course, trying to get the same surgery. Definitely very quicker, more quicker here than the United States to get okay. surgery. And, and what's the main surgery you do? More females want their stomach done or their butt? They do usually tummy talk, uh, they do liposuction, breast, Mm -hmm. Augmentation, breast reduction, mm -hmm. uh, face leaf, you know, wow, face uh, leaf. Mm -hmm. they do all those things. Wow. Yeah. And uh, what else would I say? Uh, but we do we do more than those things because uh, we do breast reconstruction for patients with uh, breast cancer. 
we do. Uh, so you remove their breast. Uh, oh, oh, somebody uh, have cancer, you can remove their breast. Yeah. Breast. And, oh, and that's and a plastic surgery job. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, wow. If you yeah. have any lesion, any trauma in your hands, you have any trauma, mm -hmm. you know the plastic surgeon can mm -hmm. uh, fix it for you. We do all okay. that. If you want a, a, a graft, you know, you have mm -hmm. burned something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm saying if you got burned in a yeah, we do that. accident yeah. or a house. Like Usually, that. patients from other states just only come for aesthetic surgery. Okay. 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 The kind, the kind of surgery, okay. but we do more than this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you just do more, you do more than breasts, you do more than of stomach, course. you do more than, you do the whole gamut. If you get somebody get burnt in their face, yeah. you can do surgery Other for that. If somebody want lip surgery, you can do that. If of they course. want their nose, their ears, yeah. if, if guys, I heard, I even laughed when I hear this. They was telling me that guys come here to get six packs, you could give guys. Yeah, I get so much six packs for, for guys. From United States. Oh my goodness! But usually it's not for big belly. It's for for people who do exercise, uh -huh. you know, and who want the more definition, more abdominal etching, you know. Okay. They come in for that. But okay. It's not that you have a big belly. You want to. Uh, yeah. Like, hey, can you give me a six pack? Nah. No, thank you. Sometimes I suppose uh, to, to tell you, people who want good uh, results, I suggest them to do exercise and diet because more lower is your BMI, more beautiful will be your health, you know? Okay. More higher it is, more risk for you. To get heart attack, to get other okay. medical problems, whatever. More medical problem, you know? Because it's a high risk, it's risk when you take Very high risk. When you have operation and then your body not strong already. Yeah. So you're saying, if somebody maybe want to come get a surgery, work out a little bit, get yourself in shape so that body can be more but they can more take the surgery. Of course. Then um, if they come in here sloppy and fat, <laughs> then they like, doctor, help me. And you're like, golly. So you even have a weight limit then. If somebody's too big, you can say, I can't do the usually, surgery. Usually when they are have a BMI so high, I usually you say, should. you more, you put, I prefer to lose weight. Before. Yeah. When you feel it to lose weight, then I can't help you. Because plastic surgery <laughs> is not for uh, remove fat. No. Yeah. People can have a big mistake thinking like yeah, that. Yeah, a lot of people think it's, it's to move fat. No, That's what I thought of. It's aesthetic. Okay. It's contrary. It's culture of the body. Okay. It's not about to move on the fat. You know, okay. You have to move fat to sculpture the body. But if you have a lot of fat, you know, you're supposed to go to uh, a bariatric surgery yeah. or something like that. Uh -huh. You know. Or get some kind of diet or something. Yeah. Yeah. Or what they right. do, they do the one surgery. I know when they operate on your stomach, they can, they can, uh, Shrink your stomach or something like yeah, that? Yeah, this is so, biotic surgery. Okay, biotic. yeah. Biotic, they call it biotic surgery. Biotic surgery. Oh, okay, okay. Sleep, if they want to do sleep surgery, sleep gastric, gastric, uh -huh. you, know, you do that. Okay. Yeah. And um, what's your card? Let me see your card. Let me see the card. Yeah, yeah my card here. Yeah, I'm going to take this with me too. I'm going to let you guys see it. This is his card. Business card, and then you have all your information on your Instagram, your oh, yeah. your Facebook, and all that. Facebook, on my website too. They okay. Can contact me, you know. All right. We just do we do for everybody, especially my Haitian people. They can okay. text me and call me, uh -huh. and then you will have any information that we want. I want all those girls to look beautiful throughout the whole world. Yeah. Yes. That's the Haitian. And people. I'm surprised that when they come in and they say they're Haitian, they uh -huh. are they are some move of Haitian. Yeah. And I'm feeling very happy that I'm. Something is doing for my nation, for my people. Yeah, helping you know, your people be happy. happy. Yeah, that's all right. That they can say that they come in with Haitian surgeon, yeah. and I'm very happy for that. You know, I know because I know I'm not the one. I'm not the last. Also, because we have a lot, a lot of mm. Haitian descendants mm. that uh, have the same capacity or more capacity than me to do more things in yeah. the world. You know, I get more great things. If the chance to Haitian, you will see who is the nation. I know, you know? I know. There's a lot of smart people in Haiti, man, but they just. Right now, with the the political turmoil, it was hard. Yeah, but it's only for that yeah, right now. but once Haitians leave and go to other other countries, they do good. Good. Mexico, the United States, Canada, France, Belgium, wherever they go throughout the world, they do good. They of do good. Of course, of course. Yeah, but we Haiti got to get it together. That because every Haitian can't leave Haiti because 
No, and every American can't leave America and live somewhere else. So they got they got to get Haiti to the point that people can work and live comfortable to take care of their family. Of course. That would be. That's what I want for Haiti, man. That's what I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that. You yeah. Know, I think that can. It, it can come. It can come one of these days. It'll come. It's it's just a uh, time. Wait the time. You yeah. know, but that's gonna happen. Okay. Well, let me tell you when I when I came in DR, uh-huh. uh, it wasn't like this. Okay. But they they, they build everything slowly. Now it's better. Yeah, step by step by step by step. Twenty years. Mm-hmm. The city has uh, yeah. just changed, you know. I know, because I look at Santa Domingo. Santa Domingo is like a uh, Miami, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's like a it's Miami to me. Yeah. It look like Miami to me, man. They don't roll, and I see they building like yeah. everywhere they building like a apartment complex. That we be uh, like this in Haiti some days. I think yeah. So. Cause they gon' they gon' run out of room here, and they gotta start they building. Away. You cannot buy. They gotta start building in Haiti. Yeah. yeah, the same way. Any any last words you want to say to the Haitian people, to people that want to get plastic surgery with you? Any last words? I can say that uh, uh, this is a new style of life. You mm-hmm. decide to do that. It's not uh, only think about the to come, but. When you finish to do plastic surgery, you're supposed to do your part. That you must do exercise and diet, okay. and change your life. You know that you will feel healthy, mm-hmm. and you will feel good, very beautiful, comfortable with you. Yes. And it's life. You know, living your life. I'm just waiting for whole patient. No matter where you're from, mm-hmm. but especially my Haitian people, I'm waiting okay. for you here in DR. That's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. All right, once again, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Please get this video like and tell me what you like about this video. And I'm going to bring out more videos like this with my Haitian people. Peace out.